everybody, I'm Puggo, and today I'm going to be teaching you on how to use a toggle chip uh, using a button V2. Now this is going to be my first Circus V2 tutorial, but more tutorials on Circus V2 will come by as time goes on. Now let's get started. Now what we want to do is open up our Maker Palette. We want to press Open Palette, and we want to go immediately to the Circus V2 page. We want to go all the way to the beginning and get out a circuit board. This is what we're going to be using to make our custom toggle chip. Now we want to press edit on the circuit board and we'll have two chips here. These chips are just the inside of the circuit board and we'll start using them now. So this represents what is going to go on in in the circuit board and this chip represents what is going to go out on the circuit board. Now what we'll need is an if chip. It will put that right here. Next we will need a not chip. It's on the seventh page. And lastly we will need a variable bool on the top page. Alright, let's get started. Now, we want to configure and configure the in chip and we want to add a function. Uh, we'll name it just start execution. Now we want to press the gear icon and add an input and just name this start. This port will make it so that we'll start our toggle and we want to add an output to make it start toggle. So we'll just start toggle. And we'll also create that. And then we want to go back, add another function, and we want to put reverse tog. And this will add an execution to reverse our, we'll reverse the toggle, and we will add just rev reverse and make the type an execution. Now our circuit board should look exactly like this. We shall name the circuit board just toggle or any name you want. Now your circuit board should look like this with any name you want on it and after we are done doing that we want to press edit again. Now let's wire everything together and create our toggle chip. Now we want to send an execution to this variable bool. So we want to wire our start to this orange pin on the variable bool. Then we want to send that execution to the if. Now we want to send the results of the not to the if condition. So that will not send a signal when it is not toggled. And we want to send this to the true and we want to also, I'll put this on our not. Now, once we have configured it right, we will then put our then to our start tog and our else to our reverse. And we'll get out a piston V2 from our CV2 gadgets. configure and detach it from our object so we'll move it closer over here now we want to config we want to connect our start toggle to our play and our reverse to our reverse and then we'll need a button v2 from the cv2 gadgets page it so when it is pressed it will send the execution and if you have done it right it will start 
the piston and when you press it again, it will reverse the piston back to its original place. Hey, you made it to the end of the tutorial. Now, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you do not like the video or you had trouble with it, please comment down below and I will try and help you the best I can. Now, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next YouTube tutorial. Bye.